the one thing we cannot train and we cannot improve is their mind. Um, so if they don't have a good mind, you don't have a good racehorse. Here you go. Now he's listening, he's, his head carriage is in the right place. Good boy. Good boy. Well, it's been a couple of weeks before we um, last seen him. Yep. Um, what's he been up to and how's he settled in? So he obviously just had his, um, just went on the walker for a week just to get back into it. Um, and then just sort of settle into the place. And then he's been lunging for, God, what, what are we now? Probably a week, just under a week. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's taken brilliant to it. Um, we're just, just getting him in the bungees just to get that head down because now he's going chasing. He tends to have quite a high head carriage. So we do kind of want him to drop that head a little bit. And for chasing, we want a more rounded um, hurdling. You know, you go long and flat. Chasing, you actually have to jump them. You know, a few days of lunging, um, and then hopefully we'll be ri riding away by the end of the week. You know, when we spoke on the phone the other day, you you mentioned about the tendons. Can you just kind of explain that again? Yeah. So just naturally, with any horse um, that's had a few months off, bit of a layoff, um, tends to there's tends to be sort of two places of fluctuation tends to usually be joints and sort of tendon especially with him he's had his tendon issues in the past um, so naturally when he starts stepping up a little bit of work I expect a little bit of fluctuation and a little bit of fluid going down there it's nothing to worry about keep an eye on it every day sort of it usually goes down with the work so it's usually after his work and he sort of stands in the box over the evening um, and then sort of it tends to go down with a bit of walker or, or lunging. Horses are a lot like humans in that sort of aspect. When, when they've had a break or whatever, they're not in their, you know, they have such vigorous training routines when they are in work that when they suddenly stop and just go to the field for a few months, it sort of relaxes everything. You know, he, we're quite lucky. He's kept his top line this year um, and everything, but he obviously has got a bit heavier. So when, when he comes back into work, it's just a bit more pressure through that tendon. That's why we've just got to be a little bit on the cautious side to begin with, to sort of make sure that we're not overstressing anything because ten, a lot of tendons tend to come from fatigue. So that's where we don't want to push him too soon, too early. Just build him up gradually, keep an eye on it. Like I say, I've been very happy with his legs since he's come so um just with that little bit of fluctuation which so i anticipate it's, it's anyway. really sort of patient and gentle gentle yeah exactly look and and sort of doing the best by him really um and sort of letting him tell us when he can do more um which he's quite an enthusiastic horse i mean you'll see on the lunch in a minute he, he's quite an enthusiastic <laughs> horse about his work so i have to kind of keep him reined in a little bit when th when they want to work that's always the trouble because they always overexert themselves too soon but um he does listen in the well, end i prefer it that way than the other way <laughs> yeah. that you didn't want to do it. <laughs> so cool that's the thing when it comes to it like it's like unfortunately oxted hasn't stood because he's so enthusiastic like them them sort of good horses do and the as trainers and pre-trainers and things like the one thing we cannot train and we cannot improve is their mind um so if they don't have a good mind you don't have a good racehorse no. um you know it doesn't matter about their ability or or anything you know look a 60 rated horse can have a good mind he'll still win a race um against a horse that has plenty of capability and could win a guineas but doesn't doesn't have that attitude that he wants to do it so if, if they don't want to if they don't want to do it look they're half a ton of an animal and you're not going to force them um so we're just lucky he does have a good mind on him and because he's a big big old boy if he didn't want to do it <laughs> So, well, so these are the bungees that I was on about, um, which will just help him keep his head 
in the right place, which is where we want to build. So these just, these bungees just put, they come up through the middle, they come up over the pole, and um, it just builds this top line up here, this neck, and just, they're quite loose at the minute, but just want him to just build that top line and get a nice curve. Ooh, good boy. Daddy. We just let him get his enthusiastic stage out. Good lad. That's it. Good lad. Good lad. Yeah, so when, when we're breaking and things, um, we're always just trying to voice command. I, I'm someone that always likes to talk to the horses anyway. Um, so yeah, just sort of, ooh, just sort of hopefully means they do sort of come back and if not, we just bring them in a little bit tighter because then that obviously makes the circle a bit smaller. Good boy. Got a bit going on next door, so he's a bit revved up. There you go. What were you want? So this trot's just a little bit fast. We just want it to steady down a little bit. Good lad. Ooh. So this is a better trot now. So he's starting to listen a bit. Good lad. There you go. Now he's listening, he's, his head carriage is in the right place. Good boy. He's got a nice relaxed trot, he's relaxed all through his front and his back end. And he's just finding it very easy. Good boy. Good boy. For me, like, you're just trying to build everything. He hasn't used his muscles for quite some time. I also want his head carriage to be where it is now. So his natural head carriage is just about sort of six inches higher and he normally just points his nose a little bit. Whereas here, you've got a lovely arch over the top of his neck and his sort of top of his head to his nose is, is 90 degree to the floor. Can I have a little canter? Good, good, steady and relax. That's it. Nice canter. Good. Lovely. Lovely. Perfect. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Good. Good. Keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that. Good. Good. So when they're cantering, we just like them nice and collected. Again, nice and rounded. A nice, good boy, nice sort of rounded canter which just means they're bringing their knees up and they're just sort of going nicely through, relaxed and doing the work. Good, there we go. Now we got him listening. Go on, not that far. Good, good, good. Okay, now you can walk. So when we're also doing it, when I say wall, we always want him to listen to me and so, don't want him to go from canter straight to walk because just want him to have a bit of manners and then just trot and then when I'm ready make him walk and then I like to make him walk a circle um, before then we'll change the other way. Ooh. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so this next rain, the right rain, is Max's worst rain. He's not very good on this rain, so he's he's learning how to to actually go on this rain. Because I, I presume when he was broken in in France, they probably just broke him in on the one rain and sort of didn't lunge him on this rain. Good boy. Come on then. Good lad. Good lad. That's better. Good boy. And they always like to have a play again when they change the rain, for some reason. Good boy. Get that out of your system, and we'll do the proper work. Good. Just relax that trot a bit. Relax it. Good. Just see where this trot currently, he's just a little bit tense through his shoulder. He's just a bit tense through his neck then, and it's sort of translating to his head. So we just want him to, there, that's better. Now he's relaxing there. It's just, it's a very slight change, but it's just an inch in his head carriage 
and just sort of a more relaxed eye and more relaxed through the shoulder. See how now he's really fluid through his shoulder to his back end? And that's what we want. And again, his head carriage is nice. Good boy. And he's not fighting the bungees because there's a little bit of slack in them. So he's doing this all off his own accord. The bungees are there just as a guide. So when they do put their head up, it just puts that little bit of pressure and it's like us holding a weight up for, for a short amount of time. Sort of the longer you hold it, the heavier it feels. So that's just what the bungees work like. Just so then when he relaxes, it then slackens off and it's easy for him. Good. Keep that. Lovely trot. Lovely trot. Very nice. Very nice. Concentrate. Good boy. That's it. And have a little canter. Up. Up. Oh, fresh boy. Yeah. Good boy. That's it. Keep 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 it. Good. Good. Just concentrate. Listen to me. Good. Better. Keep that. Perfect. Oh. Go on. Up. Up. Good. Relax. Come on. I know you're. Ooh, just relax. Come back to a steady trot. So this is obviously his tougher rein. So whereas he found the canter, keep going. A bit easier on the left rein. Now we're asking to do it this way because it's quite unnatural for him because he's probably not done it that often. He's finding it difficult to maybe just turn that neck slightly inwards and just keep on the nice circle and keep it collected. So what he does is he goes from a rush to a sort of, once he gets it, it's probably a bit difficult for him. So he, he comes back to a trot because it's easier for him. So we'll just let him relax again and then we'll try again. Up. Good boy. That's it. Keep that. Good. Good. So naturally, because this is his harder rain, he's finding it more difficult. So he is a bit more tense. So on this rain, getting him relaxed currently is not my priority. It's just keeping that canter, but obviously not going too fast and sort of building that muscle up. And then hopefully in a few more days time, he'll find it much easier and he can relax the same he can on the left rein. Good. He's just not as balanced on this rein as he was the left. Good. Keep it. Good. So on this rein, I'm having to work. Good boy, have a break. A bit harder, just on, on my lunge rein, I'm just having to keep his head slightly in and turn towards me, because it must, it, it's either a bit tricky for him because he's got better muscles on one side than the other, or he might possibly be feeling a little pinch, which we could get some physio to, to check him over, as I would advise anyway, horse coming back into work, like you said yourself, when, you're, when you come back in, into the gym after a break, good boy, your aches and pains come out, it's quite nice to get a massage and get all that lactic, lactic acid out, so that could be something we go for. I wouldn't say necessarily now because he doesn't look tight, he doesn't look in pain, but definitely sort of over the next week or two. It's like children, like toddlers and whatever, you always try to end with them listening to you and sort of end on a good note. Good boy. Walk on.
Good boy.